All right, I spent a good part of the morning putting up these racks and that mod took a few hours, but my next mod is not gonna take a few hours. And what I wanna do is I wanna install this inverter here in the backseat of the car in a way that's clean and accessible and that you don't need the engine on to use. So let's give that a shot. So what I have here is this Ampeak 400 watt inverter. And let's take a look at what's in the box. Okay, manual. I, I actually really love the orange. The Maverick has some orange trims on the inside, so I really love the orange. It's got two fuses, power prongs. It's got um, two USBs and two AC outlets. Underneath, we got, so if you want to use this for the cigarette lighter adapter, that'll work. Uh, here's alligator clips, so this makes it really easy to, to connect it in a strong way. And you know, if you're only doing 400 watts, it doesn't need to be a screw, but it can be if you want, it's up to you. And uh, these prongs will go here. So let's give that a shot. Okay, so I did promise that this was going to be a fast mod. And when I say fast mod, I don't mean so fast that you just plug in these things and you plug it into the cigarette lighter there and you're done. Uh, I don't want that because I don't want the wires dangling out of the middle. It's just a little messy. I want something that's a little bit cleaner. And in addition, this is 400 watts, so when you plug into the cigarette adapter, you actually don't know how many watts most of the ports are. I don't know how much that one is, but I think it's a 300 watt, so it might, it might be too weak to push a 400, but I know where we can easily get 400 watts, and it's right here underneath the seat. Underneath the seat, we have the battery and that guy when connected straight to your inverter you know will give you all the power you need so we're gonna tap into this guy and hook up this in a real clean way okay so let's start with this and we're gonna take that out and these screw types gonna make your life easy I'm gonna want the wires coming this way and I'll show you why later. But you can make it go whatever angle you want. All right, so that's nice and easy. So the key is where I'm going to put this and where I'm going to put it is right here, right here. So dumb luck would have it that this fits perfectly right there. So all I have to do is route the wires to these ports and I'm going to have a nice, nice tucked away uh, 400 watt inverter that will always be on because it'll be, well, it'll be on if you have the switch on, but it'll always be connected to the battery so that you can always turn, uh, use it even when the engine's off. All right, remember, I, I promised it would be easy. So if we want to do this a real easy way, uh, you know, you can cut the wire and screw it in. But if you want to use it a really easy way, you could clip it right there to that prong right there. For him, take this guy and clip it right there. And the nice thing is that my guess is right, it will... fit still and the wires will come around right here you can see that so let's just test it all right so now it's plugged in you can see it's routed this way let's turn this on all right you see a light so you know it's working let's I 
Got this LED light right there we'll test out. Of course, that's working real nice. And with the light on, you know you left it on. Turn it so on. Let's take a look at what it looks like with the seat down. All right, that's what it looks like with the seat down. It's wedged in nice and tight. It's hard to see, but you can see, you can tell that there's no stress on this wire. There's a there's big there's a big gap there, so there's no problems crimping the wire. And look at how perfect this fits, and it fits nice and tucked away. To plug it in unplug and you see it wedges it's wedged in there tight enough that I don't need to hold it while I'm plugging or unplugging because the, the the grip is firm enough turn that on and you could see you heard the fan go on for a second my light is working turn it off so there you have it a really really quick and easy way to get you a 400 watt inverter that you know could handle the power because of the, the wiring. It's nice and it's big wires straight to your battery. The only drawback is that you can leave this on um, even when the car is off. My car is off right now. So you do run the danger of draining your battery if you forget and you left it on. So in a future video, I'm going to teach you a way to use a relay back here so that it only works when your car engine is on. And that's a plus and a minus. You won't accidentally draw your battery, but uh, when you turn off your motor, you're not going to have power anymore. Uh, but anyways, so we're done with this quick and easy mod to get you uh, a 400 watt AC outlet here in your back and two extra USB ports.